Hi guys, it's me and I am back in Bloxburg and I am about to be touring today my Winter Wonderland kind of completed. So I think most of it's completed. I don't think I'm going to change much more, maybe add a couple more Christmas decorations, but most of it's completed. So I'm going to just show you my how much my plot costs. It costs 228877 and I do have a car in it, so I don't know if it's exactly that much, but I do have a car that costs Bloxburgs, Bloxburg, Bloxburg, can't speak, Bloxburgs, and I will delete that car at the end to show you how much it's actually worth. So I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you. Okay, so turn around in three, two, one. Here's the Winter Wonderland, basically finished. And I think last time I toured it, I was, um, I hadn't finished the toy shop or ice rink. I didn't add, I didn't have toilets. I don't know if I had the feeling the rain of it. But let's do the full tour. So right here, we have got the car park, which I thought I might surround it in a fence. I don't know if I'm going to keep this fence, but mm, I got my car, which is, this is the car that I was saying might make it cost something different so here's the car park and it can fill eight cars up right in here we got the ticket booth and i absolutely love the detail on this this is the first thing i built i think even before the car park because i don't i didn't know if i was going to stick with this build but i love it and um i'm so proud of this and all the decorations on it like the building itself is quite simple but the decorations just make it look so like complex kind of so i've got the these gumdrops so like they kind of separate the line up and i think they look nice the ticket thing got some gingerbread and lots of lollipops if we jump over here i can show you the inside and we got the more uh, like a bigger ticket thing so if you couldn't see that and i put this I put the garland on that and I think it looks nice. I also tried a new texture with the desk, which is this marble texture, and it looks so good in my opinion. I got the big Christmas tree and I thought the power box would be look nice on both sides. So I put them on both sides. I also have those nice new bushes. I love the bushes. They're basically like the spooky bushes, but I think they just look a lot prettier. Then we got this thing here that says tickets. Oh, I don't want to waste my mood. Okay. If we come through here, the people here will say, okay, you're open. Then you'll open the gate. Or wait, should we? I think I might put an automatic place on there so it just kind of opens. And we have got this. And I wanted to put like a display so it says, look, the people you walk around and you'll see this. And I feel like it would just, it makes me really festive. And yeah, I love that bit. It's probably one of my favorite parts of this build. So if we come down here, we have got the food area. So we have two other food places. But this is more the place where you can get, like, actual meals, like your dinner. If you were here for, like, if you were here at, like, 4.30 to, like, like to, like, 7, you could get some dinner or something. And I think I like it. I did, I used these pool balls. I don't think, I only used it there, I think, in the whole build. So, yeah. And I got a sign that says, pick up food here. Because I couldn't find another sign. Here we have got the sweet treat uh, stand, and we have um, Santa holding a present. Got this, and got these things, and I got loads of the holiday treats, and plus some other holiday, like new ones, such as um, like some normal ones, like the um, cookies, the pumpkin muffins, because I think even though they are like just like you know from the halloween update i don't think they're too like halloweeny so i added them i added a cheesecake as well and i think they're the ones that are not like the festive ones and in here like you can make like a pop tart in here and i got the festive drinks of course and i was actually role playing with someone in here and they're like getting the drinks and i really loved it okay so over here we've got the ice cream shop slash just like the quick treats place because we got like some popcorn in there we got like some nutcrackers out here and in here you can i thought of adding the ice cream place so we, you can get like the new peppermint swell ice cream and i'm really glad i did add it because yeah and i added the popcorn ah, i don't know i don't oh, God, i have 
have to go out this way. I was going to try to go out the quick way. And then here we have got the dining area where, like, I made other tables. I did explain this in, like, the other one, so I'm going through this quite quickly, but adding more description than the other door. Um, but I've got this, like, um, the table I had to, like, I made an eight table, two tables, four tables, and did I add a free table? No, I didn't add a free table. So you'll have to have a four table if you're free, if you want a free table, or you can just have a two. And then now going into the next section... We have got um, the, like, activity bit, I kind of want to say. So, we got the meat center, and it's the grotto work through. This is just, like, I didn't really want this bit here. I just wanted to add it, so it does say meat center somewhere. But I added it, and this one just says random things, but you can meet with Santa and ask him, and you can sit right here with him, and you can say, okay, Santa, this year for Christmas, I would like... And whatever you want for Christmas. And we got these snowballs. Okay, so then over here, we have got the sledding hill. I don't know if I had the sledding hill then. I really don't know what I had. Even though it was like a couple days ago, I, I can't remember. Um, but if we go up the sledding hill, you can grab a sled and go down. I'm just going to grab one of these. And I'm going to go down. I think I used... How many floors? So this is on the fourth floor, I think. And these are like... The, these are just the ramps on this desk and i like it kind of the other um like a couple hours ago it was stopping me here and i like that because you know i'd kind of be worried if i went across there here because people will be walking across maybe and you might hit yourself on the concrete here you can feed santa's reindeers so you have to ask you have to pay like about a hundred dollars because in Bloxburg that's not too much and i didn't want to make it 10 so i didn't get anything because I was actually running out of money when I was role playing with someone. And yeah. So basically you can feed the reindeers. I'll get, get a carrot and then I'll give it to you. And you can feed the reindeers. If we come here. I've got the snowman thing. Which I actually saw in a Phoebe and Amber video. But they were in someone's other winter wonderland. Inside where you threw it in. Um, and I think that was the ball the Bloxburg builder. So go check her out. Basically if you're a kid you'll stand on this one. Or adults, I guess. I feel like this will be too tall. Um, but you'll stand in here. Someone will grab the snowball and they'll throw it at you. I tried to find just the snowman's body, but the head came up as well. But So you get a snowball and you can just throw it. Here we've got the toy shop, which I don't think you've seen the finished version. Because um, you're actually watching me build this bit here. I got toy paradise, it says. And I got the train um train and then like the carriages which i really like that just little di addition like just the like just like this bit i i just really like it and i put like some nutcrackers there and i got the bushes i don't think i showed myself to show myself doing that bit in here i have got um you can write to Santa, so like you can come here, you can stand up, get a pen and write to Santa and I put some bins here if you like made a mistake and stuff. I got a Christmas tree because I thought it would just make it look nice in a toy shop I thought. And here is the desk, I want to add more details to the desk, I just added a tiny bit. And I got the logo called Toys Paradise because yeah. Here I've added some of the new toys, I got the planes, the train, the elephant, the monkey and the alien here I got the polar bears. I actually love polar bears in real life, guys. They're like my favourite uh animal. Got the dinosaurs, lions, monsters, and the teleman toys. And here I got the old toys. I got some cats, some octopuses, and unicorns. And I put these, um I got put a Barbie American girl doll. And I never had a Bratz doll, I think. Uh, that's what I put, because I remember seeing it in someone's build one. And I got some bubbles, so, and I'm going to fill up with some more bubbles. And that's it, I put colourful wall trims there, and some snowflakes around, and on the top I put bubbles. Um, so the last, no, not the last one. So, in here we have got, um, I was going to make an ice ring, and I realised there was just too much money, and... I was going to go broke, and I didn't want to save up for that long. So, I saw this from a February video, like, f not from this year, but last year, decorating. She added, 
uh, snowball fight area. So I added that, put garlands around, put the bushes here, put some lollipops and the candy cane. And I couldn't find the candy. I, there's no candy cane where you can turn it the other way. And I was sad about that. Um, but I ended up putting a candy cane there. So if you come in, here we just got stacks of... Um, things, snacks or stacks of snowballs, and here I've got the buckets of snowballs. Here you can like hide, so you can hide, you can grab a snowball, and you can like chuck it at someone and then hide back in. We got like a smaller hiding, so maybe if you're a baby and, and you didn't really have to hide a big one, and you've got some more snowball, 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 just stack it around. Last thing of this video, I have got the toilets. And um, basically, these toilets are all the same. They just have a toilet. Oh, this one didn't get a shelf. Okay, wait there. Oh, wait, maybe it did. Nope, it didn't. But they're gonna, they have a shelf with some soap on. Because, like, in, in these toilets, are just quite small. Um, and they might put, like, some hand sanitizer in. So I put some hand sanitizer in. Basically, these toilets are just quite small. Here you can, it's a bigger toilet, maybe for like disabled people, or, or if you have a baby, it has a changing table. And it's just got some more shelves, and a toilet, and a changing table. And that's it for today's video, guys. But the last thing we're going to do, we're going to delete the card, see how much it's worth. Okay. Main menu. <gasps> no, not main menu, I'll be right back in a sec, guys. Guys, I'm back, sorry about that. But I did have a look at what it was worth without it. So just the things that were non block bucks. But, and the cash registers are still in there. But cash registers are just a necessity. And um, it is worth 163877 And the bills with premium are, premium are 491 I don't know what they are without premium. But yeah, there we go. I'm going to just add my car back. Okay guys, I'm back. Thank you so very much for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe and like and if I don't see you before Christmas, have a very Merry Christmas. Bye! <laughs>